Let's do it. Miracle Presser Washer coming at you with another miracle. Hey man, thank God for another day. First and foremost, let's do it. We up, we see another one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So today we got a um, driveway. Basically we're gonna seal the driveway. It's not in bad condition. We just wanna make it look good. So we got a couple of little weed spots. As y'all can see, it's not terrible. Um, I think they say they had got these pavers sealed maybe four or five years ago. So um, we just here to clean it up real, real good. Resand the joints again, and then bring some life to it. Um, they're not bad pavers. They basically, I think they should do what it do. They should look nice. They should have a nice little um, gloss on it. So let's do it, you guys. Like I say, it's not terrible. Um, those joints are kind of clogged up as you can see um we're gonna turbo nozzle we're gonna use some good sh um we really don't have to treat i don't see no effervescence i don't see no oil i don't see really no stains too much so we really don't have to treat just gonna clean it up real good resand the joints and then we're gonna seal you guys and it's not a bad set of paper, it's a good set of paper. So let's go, it should look good, let's do it. Day six, day six, man, we passed halfway. Let's go, we in the building, day six. All right, y'all, so right here, basically, we're gonna pre-treat, we're gonna give it a good, good pre-treat. We're going to let it sit. We're going to let that SH clean up all that mold, that dirt, all that, everything in between them pavers. We're going to come back. We're going to surface clean it real, real good. And then we're going to turbo nozzle those couple weeds that we got. We're going to turbo nozzle. Then we're going to rinse the pavers really, really, really good. These are the same steps. Every job, you guys. We're going to pre-treat, let the SH sit, let it do what it do. Come back, surface clean everything real good. Then we're going to turbo nozzle all those joints that still got that clogged up mold in it. We're going to turbo nozzle and then we're going to rinse everything really, really good. Come back and sand and sand them joints up real good. And then we're going to come back, let that dry after we wet sand and I wet sand to get that sand deep down in the joints. And then we're going to let it dry and then we come back and seal it, you guys. And those the steps. That's what we're doing all the way through. Day six, man, we grinding. These pavers had came out so good. I'm going to let y'all y'all see the pictures at the end. Oh, man, beautiful pavers, beautiful pavers. I love it, man. This is one of the, probably one of the best sets that I ever did. Being that I had, um, I didn't have my pail sprayer, I kind of liked the results with this pump-up sprayer. I really did. Um, I think my pail sprayer kind of pump push out a little bit more seal. Um, I kind of had a little seal left over, and then usually when I have my pail sprayer, this would have been just an, just enough seal. But with the pump up spray, it's not pushing out as much as my um pail sprayer. So I was like, and you know, I never really used the pump up sprayer, so I'm like, dang, the the pay, the pump up spray are pretty good. I mean, but when you get big properties, you're going to want to use that pail spray because it's time consuming. You know, with that pump up, you got to pump, 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 and hit, 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 pump, 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 hit, hit. With that pail spray, you just hitting, I'm just hitting the trigger. I'm hitting the trigger and it's coming out, hitting the trigger, coming out, hitting the trigger, coming out. So you got three, four thousand square foot, a pool deck, a driveway. You can clear it up so fast, but if you're doing it with a pump up spray, you might you it might take you two three two hours two three hours versus me with a with the pump with the pail spray it may take me thirty minutes. You know what I'm saying? So it's a time difference, but you are getting um you getting more out of your product with um with the pump up spray though. Just being honest, but anyway, this thing cleaned up real real nice. We cleaned it up. Y'all already know I told y'all the steps that we're going to do. Hey, man, I'm day six in it. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm still grinding. Good Sunday. I'm going to put this content out for y'all. I already told y'all we every day in it over here. We every day in it over here. I'm trying to get them views up, trying to get my subscribers up, trying to get all my new heads up on how I do stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
And hey, the ones that ain't pressed subscribe yet, y'all hit that subscribe button, man. We rocking and rolling over here. Miracle Pressure Wash, we in the building. We're applying pressure. Good Sunday. God bless y'all, man. It's a new week coming up, new opportunities. Let's push towards it. Get out here, get it, man. Do what you do, man. Stay positive. Stay around the right folks. Push towards what you want, man. We can do it, man. Let's go. Tomorrow's Monday. It's a new week. God got opportunities for y'all. Y'all don't know what tomorrow hold, what Tuesday hold, what the next day hold. Y'all go do it. Walk into it. Talk positive. Speak life, man. Speak it. Speak it and then walk into it, man. Let's go, man. Y'all already know what we're doing. Miracle pressure watching, man. We in the building. Let's go. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all too. Like I said, I can't appreciate y'all enough how much love I get, man. I'm telling you, it's been off the hook, man, with so many people contacting me. Um, I'm talking about talking to it, networking with a lot of people, a lot of stuff going on, man. I know God is working. I know God doing moves, and I'm walking into it, man. Whatever you got for me, I'm walking into it, man. Like I said, I ain't making no money off this, but I just see a bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? The helping people, showing love, positivity is more than just... You, just the YouTube thing. It's bigger than that to me, man. I see ministry networking. I see all kind of stuff coming through this. We got the documentary coming out. I'm working on that. That's going to come out. So all my subscribers, y'all stay tuned. Y'all get ready. We'll be having a documentary coming out probably like the end of the summer. You know what I'm saying? On my life, what I went through, what God took took me through, what he brought me out of. I got to share it with you guys, man. It's going to be out. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to keep grinding over here. Right here, like I say, turbo nozzle and everything real good. Getting them weeds up out of the joints. And then we're going to come back and wet sand everything. And then we're going to seal it, man. Seal it with this backpack spray. I'm going to let y'all see me do a little seal with this backpack spray, man. It worked pretty good. My first time using it. Actually, I did use one before. It was a long time ago. And I didn't like doing it because I was just learning how to seal. I was like, I kept pumping this thing and I had to spray. I'm like, oh, that's too much. But actually, I kind of liked it when I just did it with this driveway. I was like, hmm, this ain't bad. It's better than that the regular pump up spray. But y'all stay tuned. Let's go. So I don't know how much I caught. Um, my phone went out, somebody called me and I got a text message. So I don't know how much you guys got basically recorded. I just got finished sanding everything, um, touching up certain areas for sand. And then I um, wet sanded everything off real good and rinsed. Um, my pail sprayer is down, you guys. I had to send it back to um, ceiling lock. So today we're gonna do something a little different um and like i said my pail spread down so i have a backpack sprayer today so we're gonna be sealing using copper lock copper lock today and we're gonna be sealing with a backpack sprayer so you guys stay tuned you're gonna be able to get some content with a backpack sprayer today all right let's do it yeah, you guys, so I got to get me a GoPro, man, because this phone thing is kind of wearing out on me, you guys. So I'm blowing everything down real good. Everything has dropped, um, dried up real good. Like I said, my phone had ended up ringing. I didn't know it wrong, and the video stopped. So I did. y'all guys didn't see me um, sanding the joints, sanding the um, pavers. Um, I missed that. So, like I said, I got to work on getting me a GoPro. I'm probably order me one this week and then work that in. But right here, you guys, we're sealing everything. We're starting to seal right here with the back backpack sprayer. So, I kind of, it, it speeded up. The wind was blowing, too. It speeded up, but I was taking my time, you guys, and doing, you know, steps by step, spot by spot. And it, everything came out pretty good, man. I'm talking about real good. Um... Like I say, you just got to keep pumping, man. Pumping and moving. <laughs> pumping and moving. Like I say, with that um, pale spray, we just be rocked. I just roll. Like, I probably would have been halfway done right now. I would have been halfway done with everything. But it's all good, man. It ain't about the time. It's not about being so fast. It's about doing it the correct way. That's the whole part of it, you know. Of course, you know, time is money and all that. But at the same time, 
you guys don't rush through this, man. You know, you want to do a good job. That's the most important part of everything. I'd rather take it nice and slow and for the job to be done correctly and with some quality versus going fast. And then I, I got to come back. I done messed up. I missed the spot. Like, I mean, just anything can happen when you rush and rush and rush. And so, man, you want to take your time anyway, man. But I took my tiny papers, came out real, real good, man. I'm talking about nice. I'm going to let y'all see it. We're going to do the walkthrough. And I'm going to show y'all some pictures at the end, how they came out, man. They was popping. They was shining. I'm talking about for real. So, like I say, the pale spray is going to get you guys speed. It's going to. It's going to spit out more seal. Um, it's going to be less time. But the, the, the uh, pump-up spray, it'll work, you guys. This is the starter package. Get you a backpack, pump-up spray, and do it, man, and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And then if you want to, you got little chains, go and buy you a pair of spray. They like $500, you know? If you got the chains to do it, go do it. I mean, to me, like, I love them. I love them for real, but you got to rinse them out real good with on um, that pine saw and water. You got to rinse it real, real good. I'm telling you because they get clogged up. That seal, once it get hard, it get clogged up in that system. You got to clean them good. But yeah, man, that's it, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Until next time, I'll see you. Matter of fact, until tomorrow because I'm dropping again. I have told y'all every day, man. Day six. We got um, four more videos, four more days left, and I'll see y'all, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Miracle Pressure Watching. We in the building. Signing out. Let's go. First coat done. This thing going to pop. This one gonna pop, for real. Shining, I'm talking about it. For real shining, look. This thing popping. Look at that shine. Ooh, wee. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah.